Hello everyone, this is Lobby Designs here, and um, thought I'd bring out another video since I haven't in 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 a little while, and um, and I noticed that my gravity and attractor video got, I mean, it didn't get that many views, but I mean, it, it got a lot of for my channel, but um, but yes, yeah, so I don't know what that is. They're pretty simple effectors. Um, but as always, it's time to do a Cinema 4D effector, and um, in this one we will be doing. Uh, not bend, god damn, um, we'll be doing mesh. So, it seems like a bit of a confusing one, but it's really actually quite easy. So, I'll do it with a cube and a... Oh, so I'll put the cube there, and I'll do it with a sphere. S sphere. And we're going to have to put... So on zero, and then on zero, and then no, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go. Now we'll start off with the uh, with the cube. So I'll just chuck that away. Now you see here that when we click on it, there's these white lines and um, each side here is one panel, so one segment. So just for the sake of this, we're going to change this to 666. That's a weird number, so I'll put it on 10, 10, 10. So that's like the devil and then whatnot. Um, yeah, so then with uh, your cube selected, uh, go to your effectors, hold alter option, and then hit mesh. Okay, right, alright. You have to make mesh the child of the cube, not the other way around. So I mean that's pretty easy. Um, and yeah, now, anyway, this is where it gets a kind of a little bit confusing. All you want to do um, under cages, don't have to go to advance or anything like that because that's when you get into other shapes and stuff. Um, but just hit this little arrow here, then select the cube, then it'll come up here. Now you can just click on the arrow again or hit here or whatever um, to get rid of the arrows. Basically. Um, now you'll see that you have this cube here, and then all you have to uh, click or hit whatever is initialize. Now that does it straight away, really quickly, and you have this nice looking cube mesh thing. Now if we just add a plane, and then change all this to, to, to big, we have a nice thing there, and I'll just put this material on here so you can see it a bit better. But if we move the cube over, and add to the plane a collider body and to the cube a soft body. You'll see here that when we hit play, it drops down and does this nice weird cubey thing. And because it's actually fallen through the floor, it's going to spaz out and stuff and it's going to make. Oh, it did it last time I simulated it, but yeah, right, then it won't do it this time, but. Sometimes it spazzes out and does all this weird stuff. If I um, if I just make it a bit higher, da, 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 da. yeah. So that's basically it. Yeah, you can see here it does all this weird stuff because it's stuck under the floor. Kind of looks like it's crawling around. I don't know if you want it to do that, but, but yeah, that's maybe just an idea of whatever you can do. Um, you could start it off. Oh. Start it off on on a oh, on a turn, and then I've seen this done in in simulations, and it just makes any nice art thing look really cool, just by having this this nice stuff here. Uh, but yeah, now we'll head on to the uh, the sphere, which is basically the same, um, but there's a few different uh, effects and stuff that you can chuck on it. So in the sphere change the segments to 50 and then go to your effectors and hit mesh and make mesh the child of your sphere. Now do the same as before and then hit initialize. Now you see that we have this mesh again and if we hit play it hasn't done anything because it put soft body on it. Boom. Um, ah, there we go. Alrighty. Now Alright, so I was all spazzing out and doing crazy crap. Um, Alrighty, so that's pretty laggy. Um, 
find have to change the segments on the circle. And we'll change that to 10. Get a weird looking cubic thing going on. Alrighty, now if we hit play, it doesn't have a soft body again. So it goes down, does a nice little weird polygon thing. Yeah, that's basically all, um, I guess, for this tutorial. I think it's short. I don't know, five minutes. Oh, Alright, probably went a bit over time on that. Um, but as always, just remember to subscribe, like, favorite, um, do whatever. Check out my other videos, my demons videos, uh, the other episodes from this. I put one speed up, um, one speed art up to commentate on, so you can hear my opinions or whatever. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll see you guys all next time. Um, Nick out.